Hi, I'm Dr. Mario Vega, board certified reproductive endocrinologist and fertility expert. And today I will be discussing the different fertility tests that exist to measure your ovarian reserve and quality of your eggs. Ovarian reserve is a term used to measure the number of eggs in the ovaries. And as many of you know, women are born with around 1 to 2 million eggs and they start losing them, reaching about 300,000 by the time they reach puberty. The reason for this is that every month up to 1,000 eggs are lost as they compete with each other, resulting in just one egg being released and then awaiting fertilization by the sperm. This is just nature. But there are ways we can measure an estimate or we can have an estimate of how many eggs remain in the ovaries. This information will help determine your IVF stimulation protocol and also your future family building goals. When we think about how a woman's body works to cycle every month, we need to know that the primary signal comes from the brain as a hormone called follicle stimulating hormone or FSH. This hormone is typically measured on the second or third day of the cycles, and ideally, it should be less than 10. The concept is that the higher the FSH level is, the harder your brain is working to stimulate the ovaries, therefore, the less eggs the ovary is going to have. We also measure estrogen levels simultaneously. Given that if the estrogen is low, then the FSH is going to be reliable. If the estrogen level is high, then most likely there is an issue with ovarian reserve. When we look at anti-mullerian hormone or AMH, we want to have the opposite of the FSH. We want to have that in the higher ranges. AMH is produced by cells within the follicles that contain the eggs. This test is going to allow us to objectively measure the ovarian reserve at any time in your cycle. It would also allow us to recommend the different fertility treatments available better. Modern ultrasounds allow us to look directly at the ovary and count the number of antral follicles. These are the follicles that remain after the initial competition and will enable us to tell you how many eggs are expected to grow and be extracted. Like FSH, this is done in the first days of your cycle. The combination of these tests will provide insight into what you can expect for your chances of success to be during IVF and also lets you plan for the future. For example, if you're 38 but have a low ovarian reserve, you may want to reconsider going directly to IVF as opposed to doing intrauterine insemination cycles first. And the reason for this is that at age 38, we can freeze surplus embryos which can be later used when you come back for baby number two when you are 40 or 41. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, please reach out and make sure to check out our website at panamafertility.com.